Hey, welcome to the show, Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business. This is Coach James Short, aka Shorty. And this is a show for those within the real estate industry wanting to lead and grow their real estate business. It's a series of interviews that we conduct for those within the industry. So we're finding out what those leaders are within the industry. What makes them tick? What's their story? What are their strategies? And how do they how to become the leaders and the growers within the industry? But also it's an interview series with those outside of the industry. I'm always a big believer of, of looking at a whole different part of the pie rather than just focusing on one part of the pie. Because what it does, it allows you to have a different perspective, allows you to get snippets or gold, golden nuggets from those outside of the industry that can look in the industry and go, hmm, there's a different perspective. And so I encourage you to reach out to the guests. I encourage you to lean into these series to find out how can these pieces of information, experiences, stories help you lead and grow your real estate business. And before we get underway with our latest episode, just a little shout out to these amazing crew at Magic Mind. Magic Mind has been a, it's, it's a, it's a productivity hit in the bottle. I've been using these these uh, supplementations now for for a number of weeks, and the clarity, the focus, and the performance that I've been getting from these uh, nutrients in a bottle. They've got amazing vitamins, amazing minerals. They've got a bunch of mushrooms in there as well. It's a it's a great productivity hack that I've been using every single day. So if you want to try it out, head on over to www.magicmind.com forward slash James Short. And you'll be able to get amazing discounts on when you subscribe and when you try the product. And at the checkout, simply add in James Short 20 to get your discount. So head on over, Magic Mind, productivity in a bottle. Oh, I love it. Now, on with the show. Edition, we have a very special guest with us on the show. Jordan Roach is a professional photographer who specializes in capturing the people and brands of the real estate industry. He's worked with many brands in the industry, helping their agents look amazing, but also doing some brand shots and event photography. Mm, looking forward to unpacking this. He's photographed many big names in the real estate industry, uh, including Lisa Pennell, Joshua Teslevin, Dan and Brian White, Carmen Costigan, Jeff Moxon, and of course, the amazing Lee Woodward, just to name a few. Check him out, jordanroach.com.au. Mate, it's an honor and a privilege to have you on the show today. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's great to be here. I talk, talk me back to the beginning. Where where of the, did this interest of uh, photography start and, and what was that journey been like up until now? Uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. So um, I'm actually a musician. Initially, I was I was doing that for a long time, and I I did kind of start you know shooting bands and 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 just just out of interest, and um and I was going to be doing more kind of video and that type of thing, and and because I've got all the sound gear and stuff, I was going to record, and I just kind of got into into photos and fell in love with with doing that, and then. Um, you know, through connections of mine, I started in in the events world, doing corporate events, shooting those, and then um, and then I kind of I got invited um, to do some events for Ray White um, with with um, Lisa Pennell, um, and then started shooting their corporate team agents and on and on, and it's kind of just grown from there. And I've I've worked with a lot of different brands in in real estate and uh done some pretty cool stuff so yeah that's kind of how it's evolved into that so I'm a it. bit of a creative i guess <laughs> yeah yeah totally right and and i guess being that creative you'll see things so differently than than i guess most agents would see because obviously most agents are, are there of, of they've got their role but you're seeing the whole picture or many different pictures and the same goes a picture tells a thousand words i want to find out though like when we look at photography it's not just taking a photo there's so many different aspects of the photography that actually makes a, a place a brand that that just really pops and tells a, a beautiful story what are some of those those things that are important that really to get right when we're talking about photography 
Yeah, that's that's a really good point you make. It's um, I think it's about relevance. Uh, it's about like the headshot has evolved. I mean, back in the day, you know, you just go and and stand in yeah, front right. of a you know a bush or the or a sign, sold sign, you know, like yep. the old eighties photos where people would just <laughs> kind of you know do that. The bigger kind of suits. Thing. Yeah, 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 and uh, uh, exactly right. And uh, now it's 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 more about what I believe it's more about uh, painting a brand and, and uh, also you know, informing people uh, what you sell or what type of business you're doing, whether it's commercial or whether it's, it's selling fibro shacks on the beach, whatever it is uh, it's about being relevant and showing that in your images. And what I do for people is, provide them a suite of images, like say with Lee, um, you know, we went to his house, you know, initially he said, oh, I just want some headshots and now, but then we did a whole bunch of stuff. So he can then go and um, use that for his, you know, mail outs. He's, you know, he used some for a book cover. He had, he had his podcast, you know, he's got all this stuff going on. So in, and it's the same with agents, you know, you can have your DL cards, you've got, your you know mail outs you've got obviously your your profile shot which you know is on the various websites so um it's got to look good and and the thing is too it's got to look attractive not only to people wanting to do business with you but also people who might want to come and work for you like the the newer kind of people coming through uh millennials and probably gen gen z is it or gen y i can't yeah. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But they want to buy into uh, an office that looks cool, and you know, mm. it's a very visual thing for them, and they're also informing their their baby boomer parents on on what is cool. So you know, there's it plays into many things, but I think you've got to really look the part these days, and having great images that are relevant to what you're selling. I mean, someone like Gavin Rubenstein does it well, doesn't he? He's yeah. He's got his image crafted and it works for him and not everyone needs to look like that. But you've got to think about who your audience is and what, what you know, what you're trying to say or what you're, what you're aspiring to. Because, you, you know, if you want to be someone like who's selling, you know, three, four million dollar properties, you've got to look the part. Mm, I love that. Yeah. And, and And just take that example that you were mentioning about Lee. Like phenomenal, yeah. he's absolutely you know the one of the I, I believe one of the four fa fathers of the industry, um, and he's yeah. always always on on the edge of that cutting edge of, and for him he's got so many things going on, which is incredible. But each different photo tells a different story. So that yeah. photo of his profile or his podcast or his next book or whatever that is, that evokes yeah. a certain image, a certain feeling, certain connection, and as you said about. Yeah. Having you know the, the the younger generations coming through, they want that connection piece. So, having the photography actually allows the audience to really connect. <clears throat> I guess yeah. the question is then, where would an agent start? You know, if they've got the old eighties photos, they want to get a, a a bit of a you know a, a shift, a change for themselves. Where do they yeah. need to start in relations to what do they want to look? Where would you suggest? For someone to go right, I want to want to upgrade it all. What would you recommend? Yeah. Hey guys, just a little side note here. How's it going? Are you on track this year? I know that sometimes this part of the year we can feel like we're in a bit of a grind, a bit of in the trenches. Are you on track from the original plans that you set out for the rest of this year? What I've realised is that, but in with this time of year, we get so distracted and we've got trying to chase so many shiny balls and go down so many rabbit holes. And that's why I created a program called the 90. It's a framework that actually allows you to achieve more in 90 days than ever before. Some of the feedback that we've got from some of the people that have used the process, the 90, is that they've achieved more in 90 days than the whole previous year. So if you'd like to have the tools, have the techniques, have the framework on the 90, so you and your team can achieve more in 90 days than ever before. What it does, and it impacts you of, of how to get clear, what you need to do, and who you need to be to show up in order to achieve the things you want to achieve over the next 90 days. Simply head over to jamesshort.com.au, click on 
join the waitlist, fill in your details, and one of the team members will be in touch and take you through the 90 framework. On with the show. Uh, well, something that I do is I, I send them out, um, uh, I guess, like a PDF of of uh, a brochure, for want of a better word, but basically to, to show them um, ideas on what to wear, um, what colors work, things like that. Um, in terms of how they're looking, but, but what I would say is, and what something that's a bit of a, a, a bugbear of mine is, is that often there are, uh, photos are a bit of a last minute. Yep. Yeah, just, you know, it goes like <laughs> just this. Rock the up and take a photo. And goes, <laughs> it goes, mate, let, let's just bang it out. Come on, mate. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got appointments and, and, and it's like, no, let's, let's turn it into an event for your team. But, but getting mm -hmm. back to your point, Think about, okay, if I'm selling, you know, properties near the beach, get one of those and let's shoot in that. I've done that a bunch of times. Um, I did a couple of shoots down in Melbourne recently for Barry Plant and they had awesome uh, houses to shoot in and it really just set the scene for their whole vibe and and, and it just looked great and it, and it represented what they were doing. So that's, you know, it doesn't have to be, I think everyone's got this idea these days that everything's got to look rich and grandiose. It doesn't, it, it, it has to be relevant to what you're selling. So if you're selling in a beachy suburb, yes, you know, you can do shots down the beach or shots in the local community, something that shows people that I'm relevant to you and, you know, I'm the type of guy you want or, or, or lady who, who, you know, is going to sell your property to people in this area. So yeah, I love yeah. it. Love relevance, it. And that's that, that relevance is so, so, so important because yeah. if, if you're selling, you know, three, $400,000, you know, uh, houses, you're not going to be in a, in a five, $6 million houses because no. it's not your market. It's not your relevance. So true. So and true. people, your, your audience is going to look at that and go, well, he's not my guy. He's, you know, this is too, too fancy for me or whatever. So yeah, just, just make it real. And, and you can, you can still look good in your, in yourself and, and, and you can, you can be in a grungy area. Like I discussed with Lee Woodward, you know, there's a guy who did a famous shot in a, in a, on a graffiti wall somewhere, you know, but it was in an urban area. Like if you're, if you're in an urban area, get amongst that and, and look cool. And, you know, those shots really, break the mold. And I think they get through to people because they're not just the standard, you know, here's me in front of a, I'm going to say it again. In the, the office. Green bush. Yeah. <laughs> green bush. The green bush. Uh, the green bush. And I've, I've shot a lot of people in, in those shots. So I, I shouldn't yep. probably, um, it's a little bit hypocritical for me to say that, but, but yeah, just think about, think about something different. You know, it doesn't yeah. have to be the, the same thing. Yep. Yeah, I've got it. And so if you look at, um, so for example, if what would be some of the, the really big no-nos in relations to photography? Um, uh, okay. Well, look, it's such a subjective thing. Um, you know, I've, I've gone, I've, I've shopped for the same brand and done a studio, you know, some people go, we just want, you know, cause they see TRG, you know, they, they see, <laughs> them and they go, okay, well, they're, they're shot in front of a, a black background. So we're going to do that. And it's like, okay, yeah. well, that's cool. But is it, is it, so I don't know. I think, well, if I was going to say, what is a no, no, it, it's trying to emulate someone else. Mm, be yourself, yeah. be yourself. Don't try and copy Gav or whoever, because you know, he's the flavor of the month. Um, think about who your audience is and, and try and, Try and be yourself. I think just being yourself is so important these days. Uh, you know, I just, and people are leaning into that more. I see that events with CEOs and people of big organizations, they rock up on stage in their Jordans and they're, they've got a, you know, they're, they're smart, but they're casual. And I just think that's cool. Like own your look. You don't have yeah. to wear a suit and tie if that's not you. Yeah, so true. I, I, I get so often, I, I, I do a lot of work with uh, Oliver Lavers from TIG and you know, people come up to me and go, you know, like, what is he, what is he doing? What is he doing? He says, mate, there's no difference from what you need to be doing. 
you know, the reason yeah. why he's so successful is the consistency and the discipline around the activity. Yes. yes, he's selling like 10, 15, 20 million dollar properties. So therefore the commission checks will be obviously more. You're selling one million dollar property. So it's like mm. just keep on being you because that's where you will yeah. shine. You know, you don't have to be anyone else. It's just like that's that's a it's an awesome point right there. Um, where do you see where do you see it going? What are the trends in relations to over the, where where's the the future of photography, do you believe? For real estate, um, I would say it's definitely um, it's definitely the lifestyle kind of branding shots. So you're mm. a suite of photos. Um, Dan Dan Atherton, I think up yeah yeah hard coastal up, up coastal. Their yeah. latest campaign, I didn't shoot it, but that is a brilliant campaign. And and I'm in, not in that world, but I was like, wow, look at these shots. And they just show exactly what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful place, coastal look, well dressed. And it just looked so cool. You know, I, it was so impressive. And I I just think, yeah, that's where it's at. Love it. Love it. Um, Jordan, yeah. on the show, we have a, a, a 60 second quick quiz uh, that we oh, yeah. ask our guests. Would you like to play? Yeah, of course. Yep. All right. Here we go. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, I would say mm, probably the Karate Kid. <laughs> what what are age. they up to now? <laughs> Is it one, two? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not the latest ones, but uh, yeah, no. The um, original OGs. Yeah, that'd be one of my favorites, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yep. nice. What, favorite favorite food? Oh, Thai food. I love Thai food, definitely, yep. So good. Favorite holiday destination? Ooh, I would say Italy. I went, I went there with the family last year. We went around Europe and I saw a bit of Italy and I would love to go back. Um, I am going to Bali again this year. I go there a lot with my family. So, I mean, I just love travel in general, really. It's all good, but um, yeah, I would definitely love to get back over and see more of Italy. Yep. Fantastic. What's your, what's your morning routine? Oh, okay. So every day is different for me because I'm self-employed. So I don't have a standard thing, but generally get up, um, you know, morning coffee, number one, uh, that happens before anything else. Uh, and then uh, my wife and I, we, you know, she, she goes to work too. So we kind of organize the kids. I drop them to school try and get a workout in. Um, I'm, I used to work in fitness, so I'm very a very big believer in, in keeping healthy. Um, and depends, I might have a shoot that day and have to drive off or I might be editing. So it's really, it's really different. So yeah, I can't Fantastic. say I've got a <laughs> nice set. That's cool. That's cool. And yeah. do, you have a, yeah. do you have an evening routine? <clears throat> Uh, again, it just depends. Sometimes I'm shooting at night time, doing events, but generally speaking, um, I probably, again, you know, once I've sorted the kids out and their activities, get home, cook dinner, and then I might do a bit of editing when my wife gets home or a bit of, bit of work, catch up on some admin. Um, and, um, and then my girls still like stories before bed. Um, (laughs) so I do that. And then. Either come back and do more work or just watch stupid TV, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. If you could choose five inspirational people to have dinner with, who would they be? They could be dead or alive. Oh, five. Gosh. Um, Brian Tracy. I love him. He's, he's a a great, um, I don't know for people that don't know him, uh, you should listen to him. He's probably the original self-help guy. Um, who else? Jimi Hendrix. I'm a, I'm a guitarist. So I'd love to, so Jimmy, um jfk would be there i think um michael jackson probably uh one more ah i don't know i'd have to say um the late queen queen elizabeth i think yeah nice she'd be pretty interesting as well it would be interesting um if you were prime if you were prime minister for the day what's uh one thing that you would change Oh, um, I didn't prepare for this question. Gosh, uh, gee, that's such a tough question. 
Um, I would say uh, probably I'm neither really left or right leaning, so it's a bit bit hard for me. But uh, definitely homelessness, I'd be dealing with that. I, I'm seeing more and more of that around around my local area up here, and I I think uh, just helping people with the cost of living and that type of stuff. Um, yeah, that that would be definitely. something I would, I would be concentrating on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And and what's your best piece of advice? Uh, do what you love. That's something I've always done. If you're not loving what you do, get out and find it because that's something I've always done. And um, I'm very, I feel fortunate, but also I've engineered my life that I love doing what I do. I love photography. I love music. Um, yeah. And I love being a dad. You know, I, I, I just think less complaining and more, more action. Love it. Love it. And what's, uh, what's coming up for you? Any uh, exciting projects or, or things that you're working on? Lots, lots of stuff coming up. <laughs> <Lots>. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm heading up. I've got a couple of trips to the Gold Coast next month. I am shooting the HX conference for Harcourts, um, which is a massive event over two days. So looking forward to that. Uh, I also work for a couple of a shoot for a couple of uh, not-for-profits. So autism awareness, we're going up to the Gold Coast to do a four-day shoot. Um, I've got more stuff coming up in Melbourne um, as well. So, yeah, I, I also have started started this new um, idea, which uh, happened last year, where I offer instant headshots at events. So I do this thing where um, you basically get people in, set up the light, shoot and I've, I've got this software that can deliver headshots instantly straight to their wow. email so this is linkedin shots so yeah it's it's a bit of a game changer for you know and i'm not saying like that's what people should just get for a headshot but it's more just if people want a, a linkedin refresher or something like that uh so yeah i've done that at some big events like cisco live last year down in melbourne and i've got a couple of dell events coming up this year for that is that my dog barking in the background? That That's was one nice. thing I didn't mention. I'm a I'm a dog dad of uh of Cleo the Ridgeback and Duke the Boxer. So they're always <laughs> I love uh, it. barking and carrying on. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um good. yeah, so uh and I've got a bit of a trip with uh to to Bali coming up with my brothers. So I'm one of nice. five boys. So we we go away for a bit of a surfing trip every year. So it's it's good to have that balance. That's that's what I think is important and and lacking these days is a bit of balance with work and family and and just to to try and keep that because life's short. Yeah, very true, very true. And um, how can the audience? How can the the listeners find out more about you about your services? Where where can they go? Where can they reach out? Um, I'm on obviously on you know things like LinkedIn and, 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 you know, Jordan Roach photography on Facebook, but uh, jordanroach.com.au, um, J-O-R-D-A-N-R-O-A-C-H.com.au. That's my website. So you can see what I do, see my work. Um, you can contact me there. Um, but yeah. Um, and I'd love to chat to anyone who's looking to, you know, elevate what they're doing in with their, their images. And um, I'm here to help people, you know, make more money and be, be successful. That's, that's the goal. Awesome. Mate, Jordan, really appreciate your, your, your wisdom, your, your pearls of knowledge and uh, your, your experience today. Thank you very much yeah. for, for joining us on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been fun.